The sun is coming up again Looking like it's gonna be a problem Cause I'd be lying to you if I said This ain't a thing and I've been looking for a new one I keep on waiting for the weekend Gonna hit you up and tell you that I won't Hey everybody and welcome to it. Today's video is going to be super educational and valuable and all this information and tools is being given to you for free. So if this video helps you in any way, it would be super nice to help me back in return and hit the like button or the subscribe button. I know that when I first got my MacBook, I looked up MacBook customization tips or organization tips and there really weren't that many videos. So I decided to put every single thing that I know about customizing or organizing a MacBook into one video. So let's get started. Why is my camera dying already? Ready. So just as an overview of things, I'm going to list everything that I am going to be going over and then I'll also have it in the descriptions with the time cards so that you can skip around to whatever things you want to see. Number one, we'll talk about sticky notes and how you can customize those. Number two, we'll talk about hot corners. If you don't know what those are, I suggest that you watch it. Number three, how I got this beautiful analog clock screensaver. Number four, how to change and customize the icons on your desktop. Five, accent colors. Again, if you don't know what that is, I suggest that you watch that one. Six, how you can customize your Google. Seven, how to automatically hide and show your dock. Then lastly, number eight, how to make a customized collage back screen. Back screen? Lock screen. <laughs> so that's the overview. Let's get into it with number one. All right, so sticky notes. I covered this in my last video, but I wanted to give a refresher just to have this all combined into one video. Uh, if you don't know, you can have little sticky notes on your lock screen like this. What you do to find those is you go to your launch pad and then find stickies and then it'll pop one up for you. Let's say I want a new one. All right, so here's our new one. I like to use mine sometimes for a class schedule. So we will take that and we're going to change the font by going up to show fonts and we'll change it to American Typewriter Lite. So there's that and then if you want to change the size, um, click command and then the plus button on your laptop just to make it a little bigger if you want. And then you can go in and type in, oh, from 2 to 315, I have journalism 103. And then you can go through and add in the rest of your classes and then change the color by clicking on the sticky note, clicking color, and then changing to whatever you want and then just moving it over where you want to have it. So that's it for sticky notes. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about hot corners. And if you guys don't know what this is, they're pretty cool. So basically what they are is certain corners of your screen have certain actions that they perform. So what I have one is for my top left, when I go to it, it brings up my analog clock screensaver, so that one's super nice. So you do this by going to your system preferences, and then going to desktop and screensaver, and then going to hot corners down here, and then you can choose which does what. So I have up here, start screensaver. You can choose from a lot of different ones. Disable screensaver, mission control, application windows, you can read the rest. So I have that one as my screensaver and that one as my launch pad, but you can really do whatever you want with that. Next, we have this analog digital screensaver. It is absolutely adorable. I actually just recently downloaded this. It's kind of new. I'm here to show you guys how to do it. You might already know. If you do, skip to the next part in the description. <laughs> but basically, what you do is you go to this website, and I will link this in the description, but you really have to be careful on what you click on because a lot of these are pop-up, like, ads that are might have viruses and everything. Whether you have a Mac or a Windows, it has both, so we're gonna do Mac, and then you'll see these two things. So you click download right here, then it'll start a little download in your bottom left corner, and then what I did is I just dragged that out to my desktop, then you can close that off. Then what I did was I double clicked on that, and then it starts up a whole different thing, and then it shows you this. So you'll want to double click on that, and then once that happens, you'll go back into System Preferences, Desktop and Screensaver, Screensaver, and then it should be down here in the bottom. It might take you a couple minutes for it to like download and process. I know it took a couple minutes for it to show up here, so be patient on that. But then once you have that, you can click it, and then there you go, you have it. It's absolutely adorable and very like aesthetic looking. Yay! <laughs> Okay guys, this next thing I am absolutely so excited about. First off, we're gonna start with I started a website and it's full of free graphics for you guys to go look at. 
I'm super excited about it. It'll be in the description with all the freebies and everything. So some of the graphics that I'm using on these folders will be in that website for you guys to download if you want these same ones. But if not, I have some alternate options for you guys. So let's just start. <laughs> First, what you'll do is you'll create a folder. So you have that nice little Apple folder. You can rename it, whatever you want. We'll say video, yay. Okay, so once you have that folder, you will either go online and look up star or whatever you want it to be and then and then PNG or transparent at the end of it go through and look for one you'll want to make sure that it comes up with this like checkered background at the end you can drag it to your desktop and then click out of that or you can go to my website and click on design freebies and then scroll down to desktop icons so then I have all these different options for you guys of coffee, succulents, whatever, black and white. So what you can do is click on whatever you want you want and it'll open up in another tab. You'll click save image as and then save it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it. <laughs> I usually drag it over and there's two ways to do this. Well, there might be multiple. I don't know. These are the two that I know. So the first one doesn't really work for me, um, I don't know why, but it might work for you, it's the easiest way. You will go to the folder, right click, click on get info. So you see this top little blue one right here, you'll want to click that one, not this one. And you will drag whatever photo you want to that folder. And then mine does this, but for some people it works. <laughs> so mine screws up, doesn't do it right. So what I have to do instead is open this up in preview just by double clicking on it. Click on the thing, command A to select it all, and then command C to copy it. Then you'll click back up on that top little corner and click command V. And then it should come up. So there is that one for you. We have a black star. That one was from offline. Um, we'll start up a new folder. And to do mine, we'll do get info again with the right click. I'm going to open this up in preview, command A, command C, over here, click in the top left blue folder, make sure it has like a little glowy outline, command V, and so cute, that one is adorable. There's our little white plant, that one's kind of harder to see um, on my MacBook screen particularly, but if you have a different color, it might work better for you. I also have my black one up here. Um, then I have a rainbow and some coffee. So all those are on my website for you guys. I'm sure I will make a lot more. Um, I do have an email list that you can sign up on the bottom of most of the pages that I'll send you guys an email whenever there's a new graphic up on any part of the site. So you can join that if you want. So yeah, hopefully that answers all your questions. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments for me. Okay, so this next one is actually kind of fun. I just was messing around on my laptop and I found out about it. Basically, you go to your system preferences down here and then click on general and then you can click on any of these colors that you want right now mine's on the gray but let's say I want the red I will go and next time I click up like here that little area is red or like over here the default one is blue if that looks familiar to you guys um, I like mine on gray and you can choose any color you want to fit the aesthetic of your MacBook so my next one I also mentioned a little bit on my last video you guys can personalize the startup page of your Google so my picture is from Pinterest but you guys can find one anywhere you want or it could be your own picture um, so what I did was you go down to this little corner down here and then upload from device and then I'll just choose something random and open and boom so cute all right so the next cool thing that you guys can do is you can make it so that your dock is like not there unless you need it to be so right now mine's not there and I like it because it's not as cluttered it doesn't make me feel so like I don't know overwhelmed I guess what you do to do this is you go down to your system preferences and then dock so then you will just check this box that says automatically hide and show the dock and there you have it. Pretty simple, easy, and quick and it makes you feel a lot better. Alright, so this last one was highly requested by you guys when I did my what's on my MacBook video. Everybody was super interested in my lock screen slash background thing and I didn't think you guys would be so I'm going to give you a tutorial on this and I also have the link in the description for you guys to download the same one as well as a couple other ones that I made on my website. So real quick, if you look on my website and go to MacBook screensavers, um, I will have them all right here. Here is the exact one that I have on my laptop right now. 
and then I have like a vibrant one and another different cool one and then I'm also going to be making some like just plain graphic ones. Keep a lookout for those. Again, you can join the email list if you want, but if not, that's cool too. So that's how you can download the exact one that I have. But if you want to make one on your own, you are going to need a couple things. Um, you will need Canva and you'll need to find out the screen size of your laptop screen and then you will also need Pinterest. So to get started, you'll go and find the size of your screen. So mine is 1280 by 800. So you'll go to Canva, create a design, custom dimensions, 1280 by 800. Put that in and there we have it. It looks pretty close to what my MacBook screen would be. So then from there, you can close out that and I go to Pinterest and start looking for inspiration. So you can look at what you have ha pinned on your Pinterest boards or like your recent pins. So I'm just going to take a couple things and what I do instead of downloading every single thing and then having to save it to my desktop and then put it on, I just right click on the picture, copy image, go to Canva, command V and paste it. So then you kind of just rearrange it how you want. So you do this a lot. So it only took me about five minutes to do and it looks pretty cute. Um, some other tips that you can do is if like, let's say a quote doesn't match like the color theme you're going for, you can click on that picture, go to filter, and then kind of just mess around with all the different filters and see, that one looks pretty good I guess, um, and to see which ones look the best. Same with just even any other random pictures. And there you have it. Again, if you have any other questions, go ahead and comment them. And if you don't want to do this yourself and you want me to make one for you, you can go to my website and at the bottom of the MacBook screensaver page, there's a screensaver commissions form where you can type in your name and your email and then what kind of color theme you want and I will make that for you um, it will be a little bit of a price through Venmo or PayPal but we can work together and figure that all out I will also go ahead and download this one and put it on my website as well for you guys because I have a feeling you guys are gonna be asking for me to link this one too overall I hope that this video really helped you guys I really just want you guys to love your MacBook and love your organization I know it makes me enjoy being on my laptop and doing schoolwork and everything a lot more. But yeah, don't forget to support me by liking this video or subscribing, as well as going out and checking out my website. I am constantly going to be updating lots of different things on there, so I'm super excited about that. So don't be afraid to go check out any of my other Apple videos. I have a What's on my MacBook. I'm going to be having a What's on my Apple Watch. I have a What's on my iPhone. And I have multiple unboxing videos of Apple products as well, and I'm going to have that playlist linked below for you guys as well as on the end card in about 10 seconds. Here. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you have a great day or staying safe and I'll see you here on my channel again next time. Oh yeah, one more thing. That next time is going to be Friday, April 10th with a what's on my iPad video, which is also highly requested. So see you then. You